Hey guys, it's Raina, and today I'm doing a very different video. Um, I'm doing a video that's techie, so it's a video on how I edit my YouTube videos on Windows Movie Maker, which I don't recommend. If I had to recommend Movie Maker, I would definitely not recommend this, but because a lot of people have PCs, you know, there's no other way to go about it unless you spend a lot of money, so I get with, I get pretty, oh well, I get along pretty well and people have been commenting a lot saying like can you like how do you edit your videos what do you use and then they're surprised that it's Windows Movie Maker because like I make it look presentable so let's just get into the video that's basically all I have to say and yeah I hope this helps you I hope it makes your channels and your video better so yeah I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and comment if it helped you down below. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Raina, and I'm going to just jump right into the video because I feel as though it's going to be long and upsetting. So the first thing that I do is organize. So I put all of my film little clips into the right order. So I have my intro here. Hey guys, it's Raina, and and then I have my next scene, my next scene, which obviously you know you're gonna go in order. So that's basically the first tip, which is makes sense. Just my voice is so raspy. Okay, so I go through every clip and I take out the parts where I'm touching the camera, saying ums, like pausing random interruptions I take all of that out to trim a video which means you can trim the beginning and you can trim the end you touch the clip you go to the video tools it's probably already open and then you go to trim tool click that it opens this and you can use this slidey bar to trim what you want to trim so I would just so you saw my hand touch the camera I will trim that part where my hand is and then trim probably there because I don't want to like do it too much and then I'm here I will take that whoa and then save that so now we play that back and it's like that and there's none of me touching it I'm just gonna trim that where my hand there. Save that. So here. So, you know, why do I look like that? There. Save. Go away. So that's how to trim. You can do the end. You can do the beginning. I highly recommend it. Highly, highly, highly. The ne next thing is splitting. And this is when your clip is too long you can split and trim the middle part so let's say let's find one this so I would first trim that I would trim all my videos go through trim all of them here so say I want to take that out I would go here click M or undo that I can click go back to the spot that I want and click split and it will break that into two parts and then I can take this film clip and trim it to where I want it to start there we go so save that and then we can play it and it should be perfect I don't know what I'm doing now so you saw me touch the camera I'm gonna trim it Ah, trim it to there. Save that. Let's, I didn't look at the end. Oh, loud. So save that. Just letting you know the film clips need to be trimmed. Every single one of them in mind. So I would go through that and do all of them at first. So I don't have to go back and do it. So the second thing I do, depending on what video I'm doing, is muting all of the files. So because this is a voiceover, I will go to Home, and I will go to Select All, 
and then I would go to video tools, edit, video volume, and I will click the mute. And it's already muted, but I would just, it would be here, I would drag it to there. And then that will mean that all of the things are muted and there will be no sound. So I'm not doing that, that's actually muted. So, as you can see here, it's going really fast. The way I do speed is I go to the clip that I want to speed up, which is this one and this one. Usually I would speed up clips if they're too long and obnoxiously annoying, which are all of my clips, so yeah. But this one, it was originally just me braiding my hair, and that takes like forever. So I would do, I did times two, which means two times faster, and then we're good there. So I, all I had to do was go to click the file that I wanted, go to video tools, edit, speed, and speed that up real fast. Real fast. You braid that hair, girl. Let's add some titles. Which I would probably do when I'm starting it, but for the purpose of this video, I'm doing it after. So I would add a title by going to home, clicking the title, and then there comes a caption. If you want to add a caption alone, you just have to go, let's see here, I'm looking so cute, so cute, hearts, oh that's a number sign. So I'm just going to click that, you can drag anywhere you want. So I'll click that twice to open it up, and I'm going to say, I'm going to look for one of my fonts. Oh no, let's talk about fonts real quick, real quick. So we go to fonts, we go to... Um, dafonts.com, dafonts, and dafont.com right here, and we look. I usually go handwriting because that's where I like, that's what I like, and I just look for fonts that I like, and I download them, and then when I'm in Movie Maker, I can use them. Some of these don't come with the program, I downloaded them, so let's see if this works. That's cute. And for uh, Movie Maker, you can't add more than one font, which sucks. But that's cute. I like to use a blank background, and sometimes I bold it because it's too too um too light. So it's like edit it's entering with this this entrance right here effect but I don't know if I want that so I'm just gonna do the plain one which is right there and it's just right there it just stays right there I'm making sense it's 1140 at night I'm not even joking with you so for the length of the video I want to double click the video itself and put duration I want this for a good two seconds because I don't want it too long And I want to add, maybe I want to add my name. I'll add title. Drag that there. So yeah, you can drag files around, obviously. So font, you know, I, n I don't really use the font that they give me anymore. It's not bad. Whatever. I'll probably edit this by myself because it takes me forever to edit let me tell you and I'll put that in black because I want to change the math black the background color which is there to white so let's see what that looks like and obviously it's not clear so I'll bold it and let's see oh tech double talk double touch wow duration two seconds and let's see that yeah, so it's not really cute that right now, but background colors, which is really easy. Just double click background color. There we go. Animations. I don't really use animations, but I mean, that's up to you. Whatever you like to do, do it. Do you, as I say. Um, entrances for text. Do I use them? Not really, but you know, whatever.
So how I add my captions, let's say here, I want to add a caption. I just click caption, I type whatever I have to type, I add my font, whatever font I'm going to use. Let's bold it. And then usually I use the outline. So I say outline size, medium, black, because that makes sense. And then I'll move it, you can move it. And I'll make it bigger by increasing the size. And yeah, so that's how it will look like. Whatever that says. And we got that. So I just deleted it. Good. Once you get that, we can add the endings. So adding music, you know, just click add music and you will add your own music to it and then it'll add music but you can't add a voiceover and music so you kind of have to pick one what I do is if I record my voiceovers on my phone voice memos and then I have music playing in the background of that so that works really great and then I add it to my videos if you have any questions about that leave it down below um so yeah I've muted I've you know, caption, title, what else, what else? Project, view, edit. That's basically it, guys. And you have to do this for every single, every single file. So that's why it's kind of long and requires a lot of work. But besides that, oh, okay, so one of my videos I took a really funny part like say this is funny I kind of zoomed in and you can't really do that with windows so let's say I want to zoom into this part right here cute M and then I will I'll go to animations and then I'll click this which will zoom in on my face so it works there's like a lot of them up here you can really play with them I think I use this one a lot though, and then I want to like make that black and white. That's with visual effects, and then yeah, there we go. I how I repeat something over and over again is say like I want to repeat this. I just click that, copy it, paste it again. So same file. And then if I want to like speed it up gradually, I'll just like go to speed and then do it. So let's do two. So that will make like this. And then this one speed it up. You get it. Just deleted it. But yeah, guys, that's basically it's basically how I edit. I don't do like any visual. I don't do those. You can blur it out. You have to really play around with it. I think the most important thing of this is keeping it really, really simple. That's what I do, at least. I add my... I guess saving is the easiest part. No, because it takes forever. You just save movie. I save it high def. Save it to my computer. And then upload it to YouTube. So, yeah, guys. I really hope this helps. I know that I've been... I've been talking a lot and all over the place. So you guys, I hope it I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. I hope it can help you improve your videos. That's what was it was made for. And just really play around with the fonts. I really think that will help. Oh, oh yeah, because I made this black. I hope this helps you make better videos and that it overall benefits you. I know I was so scattered brain, but that's usually how I am, and oh, great. So I'm going to have to go edit this entire video now, which it takes a long time. I'm going to say it takes a very long time, a good hour to get everything that you want if you really do it the right way. You know, you can add a couple, few seconds of this, a few seconds of this, a few seconds of this, make a really cool an intro, like how, you know, the popular beauty gurus do it but I like to keep it simple where I can do it until I get a better editor but for now this is what movie Ma Windows Movie Maker can do it has a lot of a different effects 
So make sure and play around with them. Make sure you can do that. Also, you can drag text around, so wherever you want to move it. And yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped you. I hope you learned something new, especially the fonts. Remember the fonts. And yeah, I hope you guys are stay tuned for my next video. See you guys next week. Bye. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions down below. I will be answering all of them. I'm so sorry for the bad quality. I have no clue what happened, and obviously as I'm editing it now, I can see it. So I want to apologize so much, but thank you for watching, and stay tuned for next week. Bye!